I'm Lenny Hayes. Um, I coach team defence at the football club my first year as a coach at the Giants. Grew up in Sydney, so about uh, 10 minutes further north from where the club's based at Homebush now. Um, played all my junior football with Penn Hills Football Club um, and then uh, moved to Canberra when I just turned uh, 17 to play for the Rams, so spent two years there. Played with the under-18s um, for a couple of years there in Canberra and then got drafted from there um, to St Kilda. Um, so I had 15 or 16 years at St Kilda um, and have just recently moved back to Sydney to take up the job with the Giants. You know, when I first got to the club and, and was drafted, they obviously gave me the opportunity um, so I was really thankful for that and then, you know, just um, I guess there's a number of young guys that came to the club at the same time and, and we, we um, probably grew a really strong bond early on and, and wanted to achieve something together. So to be able to play for the one club for my whole career is yeah, something I look back on I'm really proud of. Um, but to be able to do that with some of my closest mates was, yeah, it was great. I think the club always looked after me pretty well and, and I think in turn I probably accept a little bit less um, to be able to stay there and, and with the group that I was part of and that's something that we used to speak about a bit and look there's some other teams um, in the past that have done that as well and Geelong's probably the, the famous one that everyone speaks about that you know you're happy to accept a little bit less to keep the group together and and I think the Saints we were, we were certainly like that as well and so yeah never really any thought of of leaving or going anywhere else. Yeah, that's something that struck me um, from when I first got to the Giants just how close they they all are and and from speaking to some of the boys, you know, they've, they've been on the end of some big losses early, but I think that's just brought them closer together. They've been through some of the hard times and, and now this season you're experiencing you know, some, some of the good times and having some good wins. And, um, and I think having gone through those hard times makes the wins even more enjoyable. Yeah, look, I, I've sort of done both knees. They were probably the, the biggest ones. Um, so yeah, after that initial surgery and then the first couple of weeks pretty tough. Um, but once you start ticking over in your program and getting back involved in the club and being around the boys and, and just setting little goals along the way to be able to get back and play some good footy. I was coming back from, from a knee and had spent sort of nine or ten months rehabbing that and then just had a routine ECG done over pre-season which all the players did and um, the doctor called me in one day and just said look there's been a We've found something on your on your scan or your test that is a little bit abnormal. It's nothing to really worry about, but um, you need to do some follow-up tests. And at that stage, I didn't think too much of it. Um, but as we sort of got a bit further down the process, um, they realised that I had um, an abnormality in my heart and had a, had a hole in it. So. Um, had to have the open heart surgery, so it wasn't something I needed to get done straight away. Um, a little bit rarer type injury, but I just treated it like another injury and the rehab coming back from it. So I was able to play another two seasons after having it, which was, yeah, which is something that I'm pretty proud of. Even though I was still obviously at St Kilda at that point, I just never thought growing up that there'd be two teams in Sydney and to think that one would be based, you know, not too far from where I grew up. Um, yeah, just, just really excited and always sort of followed the progress of the team and, um, and yeah, to be able to come back and be a part of the club now is something I'm yeah, really thankful for. It's a, it's a great job, really. It's um, really lucky to be part of the club and to be able to work with the group that we've got, um, all really good guys, um, really driven. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very different to being a player. Um, you certainly have a lot more respect now from going from being a player to a coach just to how much work y your coaches did for you when, when you're a player. Um, but it's, yeah, really enjoying working under Leon and being part of the team with the, with the other guys. It's great. Probably caught the tail end of, um, you know, when guys still probably worked outside of um, playing footy. There wasn't a, a lot of it going on, but some of the older guys when I got there, you know, Stuart Lowe was a builder. Um, was doing that outside of football, Max Hudson as well. So, and then you know the, the the players get paid a lot more than when I first started, but the expectations are greater as well. So that's probably the biggest change for me. Like I, I love being part of something, um, and you know when I was at the AFL, it's probably something that I miss being involved in that club environment. So for me, it's about um, trying to help the players achieve what they want to achieve. Um, um, and, and for me, I guess that's, that's my purpose at the moment and ultimately, you know, I'd love to see the club win a premiership and to be part of that. So that's, yeah, that's, that's my goal. I've been um, amazed at how strong the culture of the club is, you know, having only come in, it's, you know, five or six years old. But that's something that struck me straight away, how close everyone at the club is and 
done such a good job so far. But yeah, there's, there's certainly, you know, to get the membership record recently. And so there's still so many things we're doing for the first time. Um, and, and hopefully at the end of this year, there's a, there's a few more firsts. Um, so yeah, I think we're still breaking ground and it's good to be part of.